And it seems that the hot dish of Spain is really creating a buzz. And Jennifer Mira Lee joins us right now. You found out a little bit about it. and You tasted some. And there is a story behind yes, it. Yes, it's called the Paella Depot. And I am so excited to introduce everyone to what I'm calling deliciousness in a bowl. The line gives away the popularity, a new state fair vendor and food. We we're like, oh, stopping for this, yeah. That has people talking, Paella Depot. I think I've always wanted to go to Spain and I know that this is like their dish that they have there and I just had to stop and try it. Greg Lindsay and his nephew said they couldn't pass it by. We'd never heard of it yeah. and it smells great it's from out in the yeah. street. Paella Depot has been a street vendor for 25 years. They waited 10 plus years to make it to the state fair. I love the state fair. So it's always kind of been like a dream or an aspiration to be here. Doug Hugh Miller and his son Gavin are behind the hot dish of Spain. Paella is a Spanish rice dish. Um, there are, like our tagline is the hot dish of Spain. It's because there is as many variations of paella as there is hot dish, you know, in Minnesota. Ultimately, paella is kind of like this melting pot dish that was whatever is fresh, local, and in, in, in season. Their signature dish, caramelized rice with chicken and chorizo, veggies and spices, and full of flavor. How do you have this going here at the fair to keep things moving? Yeah, so we're always cooking and we're cooking in different pans all the time. So this one's starting, this one's almost done. This pan is gonna transfer to here where we serve from. What is your favorite part of making this? Wow. The smells. <laughs> the smells? <laughs> yeah, eating it. Yeah. <laughs> eating it when it's done. Yeah, so their favorite parts are smelling it and tasting it about there. So we had to bring some for you to try. That's this so is their nice. signature paella with some additions. So it's the chicken and chorizo with the rice, but you can add on shrimp, which is what Frank is trying, or yes. you have an option to add on an egg there. I mean, all right, first impression? Fabulous. I'm sure it is. Uh, here's the thing, Jen, I noticed. I mean, it's really pretty. It's a huge platter huge. there, right? I have to imagine. I mean, I've heard that it takes a long time, right, to cook it? Yeah, you probably saw in the video that they had three huge dishes that they were cooking in. So the first one is kind of what's cooking right now, what's almost done. The next one's what's in motion. Okay. And they're starting the third one. And so there's always something cooking. And it takes an hour for that last one to cook and be ready to serve up. But what's great is it's a big batch, yeah. right? So they're yeah. just scooping it up, serving it out, and Next. It, they can Next. just keep it going here at the fair. How did he come up with paella? He had, I didn't get to hear some of your story. We had a little audio problem. Yeah. but So what's so interesting is about 25 years ago, um, he bought some of these dishes and thought they'd sell, but they weren't selling. So we did a demo to show him how to make the paella. And people said, I'd rather just buy the paella and eat it. Oh, so then okay. that started how they got into business and, of course, waited 10 plus years to make it here. And they're so happy to be here. And oh, that's it's so just great. Delicious. And so where are I'm they happy. located? So, people okay, so they are just about a block from us, uh, Nelson and Judson. Okay, great. Someone will love it.